So uh, uh, let me start by telling you what IGSTC is. It's the Indo-German Science and Technology Center. So this was basically set up by two governments, the German government and the Indian government together. They fund 4 million euros each for projects, applied research projects in India and Germany. And it's not only projects, there are a lot of the funding opportunities available between India and Germany through this center. So let me take you through some of the uh, uh, vision, mission, and mandate. We focus on applied research, we focus on networking, and we focus on capacity building. So all our programs are revolving around these three areas. The majority of the funds goes for applied research. So uh, let me just look at why India and Germany. We have a very similar landscape in India and Germany. So we have the two ministries of science and technology, and then we have major institutions uh, like ISRO and the DLR in India. And then you have a stream of uh, research institutes in India and Germany, very similarly placed. And you also have uh, technical institutes, applied science institutes in both the countries, uh, very similar to each other. And then uh, you have state universities, like in Germany, you have them in India. And you also have a lot of startups and industries. So there is a lot of connect between India and Germany already. But what IGSTC does is connect any level to any level. So that's what our programs help you in. Not just one level to one, but we help you to connect any level to any level. And that's why we are there. So let me uh, maybe take you through some of our programs which might interest you. So what we do is joint R&D and innovation projects. Uh, we also fund networking. We fund uh, capacity building. And we also have quick, quick assistance funds. So if you see uh, on, on the left-hand side is all the programs we have. But I'll go through some of the programs which are very uh, useful for this geospatial meet, the Intergeo. So our flagship program is the 2 plus 2 program where the industry and academia from Germany and India come together and apply for projects. And these projects are the, to, to the tune of around 450,000 euros for the German side and 3.5 crores for the Indian side. Very similar amount to both sides. And this is for three years, and we ta start at a technology level, uh, readiness level of close to three. And we expect that the project comes to a technology readiness level of close to five at the end of three years. And these are different thematic areas every year. But this year, the thematic area is very, very close to the Intergeo 2023. I'll come to that soon. So what happens after three years? After three years, if your project is successful, we further continue funding the program for another two years to you reach a good TRL level, close to eight. And uh, that is funded to another extent of 300,000 euros from the German side. and. Uh, 2.3 crores from the Indian side. So uh, this is very important. This is going to be our next call. It's, it's already launched, but it's going to be open for applications from Jan 2024. And, and I think this is very relevant to the Intergeo 2023, because you have AI assisted. It's mainly on AI for sustainability. So you have climate modeling. You have uh, smart cities. You have sustainability. You have uh, agriculture. A lot of things involved in this. So uh, I'm hopeful that this uh, Intergeo uh, will uh, help in getting more Indo-German partners working together on projects on AI for sustainability. So uh, the other programs we have are workshops to network Indian and German uh, communities together. It's not only in industries. It's also for apply ap applied research labs and for academia. And uh, we fund close to 30,000 euros if you want to have a workshop in Germany and up to 25 to 30 lakhs if you want to have a workshop in India. So this is basically a networking uh, approach where we network Indian and German scientists, academicians, and industrialists together. So we had a, a lot of workshops like this. Uh, I won't get into the details. But the other thing is for German industries, there's a lot of requirement of PhDs and postdocs. And we have few of Indian PhDs and postdocs here in the audience who are working with German industries. So we fund such uh, personnel 
to come and work with German industry and we'll be very happy if the German industries approach us and uh, we have good manpower who are ready to come and do short-term and long-term internships in Germany. And that's fully paid by the Indo-German Science and Technology Center at no cost or no burden to the industry in Germany. So we have uh, these schemes running for the last three years. I won't get into the details. Uh, the other uh, program is for women scientists and academicians in India and Germany. So we fund programs for women scientists in India and Germany to work together on very challenging uh, new uh, state-of-the-art science activities. This might be also from industry, and we support them to a good extent of funding. So this is uh, the funds and the details. This is all on our website. So, uh, and then we have programs for very early career researchers and industrialists and uh, technologists. So if you have uh, joined an institution uh, early and you want to explore Germany or you want to explore India, we have funds for those. And uh, finally, we also fund very quickly. We have quick assistance funds for uh, industrialists, technologists, engineers, scientists, academicians. And we'll be very happy if people come forward and uh, have these funds from us. So we, we are a very inclusive system. We have projects, we do networking, and uh, we also do a lot of capacity building and provide funds for academic and research institutes uh, all over India and Germany. So uh, if you look at uh, our achievements, we do fund a lot of workshops, projects, and programs. But I think the real success story of ours is the connect of scientists, technologists, and academicians in India and Germany, and how we connect institutes between the two countries. So we have connected more than 6,400 personnel and more than 600 institutions, which you see here, uh, all across India and Germany. And uh, we, we have funded programs uh, Pan-India, Pan-Germany, and uh, I think I'll show it to you in my last slide, and thank you very much for listening to me.